So the boss legal naira was right when he said that if you write one book every day, you're going to be discovering new things about KDP. Now, as I was writing my book, I discovered a new way of manipulating images inside Microsoft Word and I want to share it with you guys. So for those who are watching, you're lucky that you're watching this video because I don't want to be stingy. Let me show you this simple way to manipulate images inside your Microsoft Word so that you don't suffer. So there are two ways I'm going to show you because there are also two way, two types of images you, you're going to be manipulating. The first one is this, the first page image. Yes, we can manipulate. I'm going to show you how to manipulate the first page image. Then later I'm going to show you how to manipulate images images which are inside your book. Now let's start with this image which is which I already have. For example, let's assume that you already have an image inside your book and it is like looking like this. So you have brought this image inside your book and it's looking like this but you want to manipulate it. Now to manipulate this image all you have to do is the first thing you have to do is double click on it. Yes, after double clicking on it then you look for this. This thing will say is picture tools. Yes, so you click on picture tools. After click on picture tools you make sure you're on picture format you make sure your your tab is on picture format which is this one here picture format after being on picture format you look for crop you can see this crop tool uh before we look we do this crop thing i want to show you what will happen if you don't do this yes so if you don't do this this is what will happen if you just come here and let me say this is the image you want to manipulate so you click on it and you want to just manipulate it maybe you want to just pull from here you pull it you see what is happening it's weird now you cannot do that now, if you come down here this side and you decide to pull it from down here, you still see what's happening. So it's still also weird. Yes. So you cannot do an image like this. Now, that's why you need this method, which I'm going to be showing you. You double click here. You make sure you're on picture tools. You click on picture tools. After that, you make sure you're on picture format, which is here. After being on picture format, you click on crop. You click on this drop down arrow of crop. Yes. After that, you'll see this thing called fill. So you click on this fill. So after click on fill, you'll see that the the cropping tools have appeared here these are the cropping tools now there are two two cropping tools you can see you can see this black one this black one you don't tamper with this black one this black this black black here you see this black here you see black here don't tamper with it you don't touch it all what you're going to tamper with is these dots you see these white dots there's one white dot here there's another white dot here there's another one dot here so you click on any of these three to, to tamper with so now as you move on the dot you can see that the arrow has changed to this double double edged arrow which has double sides so that is the arrow then you, you when that arrow has appeared you you hold and drag the image as you can see the image is now moving image is now moving image is moving yes that is the first way now you come to this dot down here you drag again uh, you can just drag a little that one is stretching the image too much believe that then you come this side you maybe you drag this side Yes, you drag it, you drag it, you drag it, you drag it. And now there. Now you can click anywhere in, the, in Microsoft Word and this will, it will disappear. So as you can see, now my image is perfectly manipulated and it looks just like a different image which I've manipulated inside Microsoft Word. That is the first way to manipulate an image inside Microsoft Word. Now the second way is when you want to manipulate an image which is already inside your book. Yes. You want to manipulate an Im image inside your book now let's say you see this space after conclusion you want to add an image here so to add an image inside here the first thing you have to do is first add a shape that shape will help you to 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 measure the size of the image you want to fit yes normally when you drop an image let me say when you come here and say insert an image so you click here and you, you insert an image normally let's insert an image normally and see so if i insert this image let me pick an image let me say I'm using this image. So if I click insert, you can see what has happened. It just ran here. You see these kind of things. It will first appear, no, appear in a wrong place. That's the first problem. Then you have to first move it. You make sure you move it up to here. And after moving it here, now you start size resizing it. And what? Sometimes even the image appears very big and displaces all your, 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 what? your work in Microsoft Word. But the thing is that this image, this particular image was okay. Let me say. I want to insert an image which is, which is bigger it will cause me problems yes so now you don't want to suffer with that but you want to just put an image and manipulate it so the first thing you have to do is click on insert yes so you click on this insert after clicking insert you click on pick not pictures you look for shapes these shapes so you click on the drop down arrow and pick any shape you want let me say I want a rectangle I always use a rectangle tool so I pick a rectangle tool after picking a rectangle tool I come and I draw here you come here and you draw yes after drawing now you adjust it to fit 
adjust this you see this rectangle tool is very flexible you can adjust it the way you want so i can just adjust it the way i want until it fits everywhere adjust it just move it and adjust it until you see it it's fitting the way you want after that you double click inside it after double clicking inside it you come and click on this drawing tool if you're not seeing the click on drawing tool if you don't see the drawing tool just make sure you're seeing this you're seeing this area you're seeing this area this bar so after seeing this bar you come and click on shape fill you see shape fill so this is a shape now you want to fill the shape with with image so you click on this shape fill you click on this drop down out of the shape fill then you ignore all the colors and look for picture ignore all the colors you want to fill it with the picture so you click on picture after that you from a file you click on from a file and then you find a picture let me say i want to use this one so i click on it after that i'll click on insert now you can see the image has been placed but it's not manipulated so in order to manipulate it i'll double click on it after double clicking on it i come again to picture tools yes click on picture tools make sure you're in picture format not shape format picture format this shape format always confuses me but it is picture format so you click on picture format after that then you'll be seeing the crop tool here and you double you click on the drop down arrow and then you click on fill yes now after click on fill you see that you see that the cropping tools have appeared so if the cropping tools have appeared now you can crop ignore the black ones i've always said ignore the black ones ignore this black frame ignore the black frame and deal with the dots alone so if i put the cursor on this dot you can see that the cursor has changed so i can hold there and drag it as you can see my image is moving that is one side i come this side also i hold this dot i drag it as you can see the image is moving yes image is moving now you can see now i i don't like this so I, i'm going to, to hold here you see this kind of cursor it means that you can move the image so i hold here and i move it yes so i move it until it fits it looks the way i want it to look for example now you can see you can click anywhere in microsoft word maybe on the sides and now i have my image as you can see i have a perfect image which i want to use now <coughs> this is not all as you can see there's a black frame on, on the sides of the image in this case this black frame is looking good but sometimes this black frame doesn't look good so if you want your black frame on the image to look good all you have to do is double click you want to remove the frame you double click inside you make sure you have this lower this drop down arrows this drop down tools you just double click on it double click after that after double clicking you, you should be seeing these things you should be seeing these things they should appear automatically mine is disturbing me because they disappeared i don't know how they disappeared even so you you may just make sure you're seeing these things after seeing this thing you look for shape outline find shape outline wherever it is so after finding shape outline you click on the drop down arrow then you ignore everything you can see they're saying no outline yes so they're saying no there's a part which says no outline so you click on no outline as you can see now my outline has disappeared and now i have an image only and it looks correct the way i want it to look now that is one way of that's the second way of manipulating in, image from inside of microsoft word now let me say i want to use another shape to manipulate this image like i've always been using a rectangle tool but what if i want to use another shape yes uh let's go down uh let me say if you want to use another shape you also come to insert after insert you click on shapes let me say i want to use this rectangle tool with uh, with rounded corners so just click on it after that i come down here and i click down here and i put the rectangle tool with rounded corners yes so as you can see i have now the rectangle tool with rounded corners after that then i double click inside it after double click inside it i come here to drawing tools after coming to drawing tools i come to shape fill yes always look for shape fill so i click on uh, this drop down arrow after that i click on picture after that insert a picture get a picture from my pc uh let me say i want to use this one so i'll just click on it and click insert now, as you can see the picture has entered now if i double click on the picture i'll come to picture tool after coming to picture tool, I make sure on, on picture format then i click on the crop tool i click on fill yes so now as i've always said you use the dot you ignore the frame on the side these black frames and use the dot so i hold this dot i drag it this side now i can with this cursor i can move it can move the image that can fill this space 
uh, is not enough so I continue dragging it. ignore this upper part this upper part always stretch as you can see it's stretching it in a bad way so ignore the upper part always use this this up this side and this lower side so I'll hold here and drag it until it's big enough and I move it to fit the way I want then I click anywhere on Microsoft Word now you can see that is a good image yes so if you can do use this shape you have to be consistent consistent with your shape if you're using this rounded shape use it throughout the image throughout the video now let me say i want to use another shape like i come to insert i click on shapes uh let me say i want to use you see these are the lower rectangles where they're saying rectangles there are very many nice shapes you can use here of rectangles so let me say i want to use this one it's called rectangle diagonal with diagonal corners so i click on it and i come here a drag here you can use oh, very many shapes any type of shape you want yes so let me say I've, I've used i want to use this one so i drag it and put it here I double click on it i come to drawing tools after that shape fill I click on shape fill click on picture after that from a file after clicking from a file then i look for the image i want yes so let me say i want to use this one this image so I'll click on it and insert it after inserting it you can see that it is crooked this crooked so you come up to picture tools after that you make sure you're on picture format after your picture format you click on crop drop down arrow then you click on fill after that you ignore the frames i've always said ignore the frames then you look for the dots drag this dot up yes and then come this side and drag this one also to fill the space after that you go ahead and click any side anywhere in the microsoft word for it to disappear now you can see see these shapes now i have very nice shapes now this it happens that these shapes have frames yes so if i want to remove the frames just double click on this after that come to draw picture tools yes now double click here come to drawing tools after that shape outline you click on this and you, you have no you click no outline same for this one double click on it drawing tools shape outline this thing called shape outline and you click, double click on the arrow drop down arrow and click no outline now as you can see these images have no outlines they have no outlines but they look perfect they look good inside microsoft word document and that is how you manipulate images inside microsoft documents yes so this channel i created specifically to complement legal naira's channel every time i discover something new while working on my book i come and show it on this channel so make sure you, you hit that subscribe button so that I don't, and click the notification bell so that you don't miss what i'm going to show you in the next video i discover new things every day i have a lot of things you have discovered when writing books and i've kept them to myself but if you subscribe to this channel then you will get to know those things you'll be notified every time i drop a new video about any new thing which i've discovered on microsoft word thank you for watching Goodbye.